Hello everybody. Today we are going to start a new topic from the 10th standard chapter 1, chemical reactions and equations. Before going to the chemical reactions and equations, we need to know the, some basics regarding how to write the chemical formula. For that, first, what are atoms? Atoms are the smallest particle of an element and atoms can form ions. What are ions? Ions are charged particles. When does an atom become charged? When an atom either loses electrons or gains electrons, it gets charged. That is, when an atom loses an electron, it becomes positively charged and when an atom gains electron, it becomes negatively charged. So what are ionic compounds? Compounds formed by the combination of a positively charged ion and a negatively charged ion is called an ionic compound. And how to write the formula, chemical formula of ionic compounds? So before writing the chemical formula, you should by heart the ions which are given here and its valency. What do you mean by valency? Valency is the combining capacity of an element or the number of electrons lost or gained to get a stable electronic configuration. See here are some ions given and first of all hydrogen. Hydrogen, the outer shell contains only one electron. Its atomic number is one and its outer shell contains only one electron. It can lose that electron to become a positively charged ion, H positive ion. And since the number of ions or number of electrons that is lost is one, the valency is 1. Similarly, sodium. Sodium, the atomic number is 11 and its electronic configuration is 2, 8, 1. The outer shell contains only one electron. Sodium can lose its one electron to become stable. So, sodium, the ion of sodium is Na plus, the formula is Na plus. One positive charge means one electron it can lose and the valency is 1. Similarly, so, coming down, aluminium. Aluminium, the outer shell contains three electrons. It can lose that three electrons to become aluminium ion. And aluminium becomes stable only if it loses that three electrons. So the valency of aluminium is three. Similarly, when you go to chlorine, chloride ion, chlorine, outer shell contains seven electrons. Chlor chloride, similarly, bromide, iodide, chlorine, bromine, iodine. These elements contain seven electrons in the outer shell. So in order to become a stable or in order to attain a stable electronic configuration, it needs one more electron. So Cl minus, when it gains one electron, it will become Cl minus, the valency is one. Then there are some polyatomic ions. What are polyatomic ions? Polyatomic ions are group of atoms carrying a charge. For example, the hydroxide, it consists of two atoms carrying a charge minus. So since there is only one minus charge, the valency is one. Carbonate, it contains two atoms, carbon and oxygen, carrying a charge two minus, so the valency is two. Phosphate, phosphorus, oxygen, containing a charge of three minus, the valency is three. So these are called polyatomic ions, means a group of atoms carrying a charge, more than one atom carrying a charge. So using these valencies, how can you write the chemical formula of a compound? For example, hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen can be represented by H plus hydrogen ion and chloride ion is Cl minus. The valency of hydrogen is 1, the valency of chlorine is 1. Interchanging the valencies of both the ions will become hydrogen 1, chlorine 1. Since the valency of two atoms are the same, it's not necessary to write both. So the formula of the compound is HCl. Next example, sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate. Sodium, the ion is Na plus carbonate CO3 2 minus. Sodium, the valency is 1. Carbonate, the valency is 2. Interchanging the valency Na2 carbonate CO3 will get 
get the valency of sodium that is 1. If it is 1, it's not necessary to iterate. So the formula of the compound is Na2CO3, sodium carbonate. So this is the way to write the chemical formula using the valency. Next example, aluminium phosphate, aluminium Al3 plus phosphate, a polyatomic ion PO4 3 minus. The valency of both ions are 3, interchanging the valency Al3 PO4 twice 3. If both the valencies are the same, no need to write that the formula is Al PO4. Next example, lead nitrate, lead 2 plus ion, then NO3 minus nitrate ion. Let the valency is 2, nitrate the valency is 1, interchanging the valency Pb1, NO3 twice. If it is 1, no need to write the formula is Pb, NO3 twice, let nitrate. Next, calcium carbonate, calcium Ca2 plus carbonate CO3 2 minus. The valencies of both the ions are 2, interchanging the valency Ca2, CO3 twice. Since both the valencies are the same, no need to write the formula is CaCO3. Next, barium chloride, BH2 plus chloride, Cl minus, barium the valency is 2, chlorine the valency is 1, interchanging the valency, Ba1, Cl2, the formula is BaCl2. Next, sodium bicarbonate, Na plus bicarbonate, HCO3 minus, sodium the valency is 1, bicarbonate the valency is 1, interchanging the valency, Na1, HCO3, 1 time, the formula is NH. Next, calcium hydroxide, calcium Ca2 plus hydroxide OH minus, calcium the valency is 2, hydroxide and the valency is 1, interchanging the valency Ca1 OH twice, that is equal to CaOH twice.